Welcome to People to People. I'm Micah Mater. We are just over a week away from electing the next president of the United States, not to mention the judges and down ballot races that are just as important. But before we get into that, let's go back to the beginning of this story here in the United States. The Constitution did not allow black men to vote until 1870. Before that time, only white men were considered citizens, therefore being the only ones legally allowed to vote. Even then, African Americans face obstacles in the way of contradictory state laws, poll taxes, and a number of fear tactics, some violent, even deadly. It would be nearly a century later when protests and pressure for America to live up to her dream led to the Voting Rights Act being passed in 1965. That law securing the right to vote for all citizens without regard to race, faith, or gender. Black fraternities and sororities are celebrating that right by encouraging black communities to vote. Here to talk about it, Jabari Saunders, president of the New Pi chapter of Omega Psi Phi Incorporated, and Tasha Levy, president of the Chicago Metropolitan Alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated. Thank you both for coming. Yes, thank you. We talked a little bit about the importance to vote. We talk about that all the time. We hear Jesse Jackson say, go out, register to vote. You hear the congressman, you hear the, pres the former president, Barack Obama, don't boo, vote. Don't nope. applaud, <laughs> vote. But do people really realize how much of a right that is, we couldn't always do that, as I just said, right. 1965. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. I know um, for myself, my parents were raised in the rural South. So it was in their lifetime that they could not vote. Um, they could not drink out of the same water fountains. And they could not, they had to sit literally in the back of the bus. So for me, voting is out of respect for what they went through to get us here to this day with the opportunity to vote for whoever you align with, but there is obviously someone on the ballot that looks like us. And, and especially people say, ah, why should I vote? My vote's not gonna matter. What difference mm -hmm. does that make, Jabari? But it does. It does. At one, at another, at another, mm -hmm. it makes a difference. Yes, absolutely. You know, we have to get out there. We are, we're investing in our community. We're investing mm -hmm. in our loved ones. We're really putting ourselves out there and making decisions for the future. And we need to make sure that we're showing up at the polls to do that um, and really aligning ourselves to make sure we're choosing those who are sitting in these seats that are making the right decisions for us as we get into the voting. Some say it's annoying because the black vote they think is monolithic. Everybody, because Kamala Harris is on the, <laughs> on the ticket, black people are going to vote for her and white people are going to vote for Donald Trump. That's not true. It's not true. Not at all. It's not true at all. As black people, we still have different issues and we align. Our values are different. So to um, compartmentalize and put us all in one bucket, it, it is disrespectful. So you have to be able to talk to all different aspects of black life um, and all different aspects of the life that we live as a people. But no, we're not monolithic at all. Is it tough to talk to people and explain to them why it's important to vote and don't just vote for Kamala? No. Because, you know, learn what she's about, learn what she mm -hmm. stands for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, you, one of our mandated programs is voter registration, education, and mobilization. And for us to get out there, you have to at one, educate yourself on both of the candidates as well as those local individuals. Um, also, knowing how to vote. We've got a lot of first-time voters, so we want to make sure that they understand the process mm -hmm. of voting and also where to vote. So when we're looking at mobilizing ourselves and we look at ourselves in the Divine Nine, our sisters of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, you know, it's important for us to collectively come together and, and get out here and be advocates and, and mobilize ourselves because we've got so many individuals. We've got over 600,000 people. We've got to get out there and vote for each. We know the, um, when Barack Obama was elected president, became historic, the first black man to become president. This is historic as well because it could be, well, the first time the, she was the first vice president, female black mm -hmm. and uh, Asian uh, vice president, but she could become the first black woman, Asian president. But you say that this race is a whole lot different from the other one. Why? Because, you know, when Obama was running, I think it was more about who aligns with your personal values. But this is quite different. There's a lot at stake. Democracy is at stake. Uh, the right to choose what you want to do with your body is at stake. Values that not only align with the black community, but align with just people, with humans. So I think there's much more at stake for this election. And I think that's why people have really leaned into this. Jabari, do you agree or do you find another reason why? No, I absolutely agree. I think that, you know, as she said, our democracy is at stake and we need to make sure that we are advocating for ourselves um, across and showing up at the polls. Mm -hmm. And young people and older people are voting for different reasons, mm -hmm. aren't they? They are. 
Why? They are. I think, you know, for older people, this is more of what I explained earlier. This is out of, they know what we had to do to get to this point. Not only to have the right to vote, but to have the right to vote for someone that looks like you. Um, for the younger generation, I think they're really more aligned with, I want to have the autonomy over my body, as I stated before. I want to be able to have free choice, and I want to be able to have choice and choose things that are aligned with my values. And both of those things are on the ticket come November 4th. Jabari, it's been an issue that black men don't want to vote for Kamala Harris. Mm. What's that about? You know, I oftentimes question that myself. Um, but, you know, I think that, as you said, people have their own individual reasons. Um, and I think that it's important for them to, you know, go out and seek and understand what those reasons are and, and really educating themselves. I, unfortunately, uh, can be frustrated with uh, black men at some points, um, not only just with the election, but just kind of how we are operating and functioning in society. But this is no different. You know, we need to collectively figure out what that looks like and, and choose appropriately uh, within our own voter education. And why we have you guys here today is because you have a, a big event coming up on Saturday yes. to get the vote out. Tell us about that. We do. So within our region for Delta Sigma Theta, the Midwest region, we have our Midwest Impact Day of Service. It's Saturday from 10 to 2. We have two locations at Amundsen Park on Bloomingdale and at Olive Harvey College on the South Woodlawn. Really more about coming out. We're calling a stroll to the polls. We want you to come out, vote early, voter education, voter mobilization. We're trying to get the younger generation involved and really just bring energy around the, the election as it comes up in less than no, a week or two. Yeah, yeah. can you believe it? Yeah. November 5th. Yeah. Um, and you can vote there too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, so early vote, so come early out. Voting. It's going to be a yes. fun time. Absolutely. We're going to have The weather's going to be decent. Yes. Yes. We're going to have <laughs> raffles. We're going to have food. It's going to be music. It's, it's going to be a fun time as we're exercising our rights. So make it celebratory, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Just as long as you vote, register and vote. It doesn't matter who you vote for. Vote for the person who, like you say, exactly. reflects who you want to be, what you want um, this world to look like or this yes. America to look like right. or someone to be there. And um, we should say that Kamala Harris is a part of the Divine Nine. Yes, she, she is. is. And what uh, sorority is she with? Um, Alpha Kappa Alpha? Alpha Kappa yeah, Alpha. Yes. 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 I'm a little familiar with that. A little familiar sure. with that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so is this the first time you guys have done something like this? We have always been uh, engaged in voter mobilization as a sorority. Our first public service project was the suffrage uh, march in 1913. So we've always leaned into social action. But this is different, as we stated before. All right. Thank yeah. you both for coming. Oh, Good thank luck. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank All right. You. What time? Well, we'll tell them. Here, here are the details on today's voting fun. The Divine Nine will be at Olive Harvey College and Amundsen Park Fieldhouse between 10 and 2. And they hope to see you there. Vote. Don't boo. Don't applaud. Vote.